welcome back to part two of Wild Wednesdays. And today, um, uh, we're going to be asking Miss P, um, uh, you know, what her chickens are like and whatnot. Yeah. So, Miss P, um, uh, can you tell us about your chickens yes. that you have here at LL Farms? Yes, I would love to share about the chickens. Okay, so this is a buff Orpington. You can see his colors and his feathers. That's what his signature is. And he's a very large rooster. But he's a gentle giant. He just makes a lot of noise. All right, so his job is to protect. We have two roosters, a Rhode Island Red, who is the red guy right there, and then the Buff Orpington. And they protect the hens and make a lot of noise if anything comes around that they don't know what's going on, they'll alert everybody. Here is the buff Orpington hen. So this is the girl, a girl's called a hen. These here are chocolate, not chocolate, I'm sorry. You have to scratch that. <laughs> are you okay? These are black bantam. This is our white chocolate chick. It's not an actual breed of chicken. But our bantam chickens, when we were hatching eggs, uh, one of the recessive genes for anybody that likes genetics and science uh, had a white chocolate chick uh, when we hatched it. So, so this is her. All right, that's good. Rub with chickens. <laughs> this is a lavender Orpington, just a juvenile. Uh, but it's similar to the rooster and the hen that we showed you down in the hen house. She's just a little one. Here are some fun facts about chickens. They are surprisingly intelligent and have a complex hierarchy or pecking order where flocks are led by one or more roosters and a top hen or just hens if males aren't present in the flock. They are able to have dreams chickens and all other birds descended from dinosaurs. And they are closely related to turkeys, peafowl, quails, guinea fowl, and pheasants. That's all for today, and we hope you have a wild Wednesday. Wild Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> you can't go so fast. <laughs>